power and influence play significant roles in all interpersonal relationships, and understanding these dynamics can greatly enhance our interactions with others. In order to grasp the complexities of power and influence, it is important to first explore the different levels and sources of influence that exist. At the foundational level, there is compliance. This level of influence is characterized by someone acquiescing to a request or demand due to the perceived consequences of non-compliance. For example, a student might comply with a teacher's request out of fear of receiving a failing grade. Compliance is often driven by fear or a desire to avoid negative outcomes. Moving up the ladder, we encounter identification. This level of influence arises when individuals adopt the opinions or behaviors of someone they admire or want to be like. We see this happening when a person emulates the fashion choices of a celebrity or adopts the political views of a respected leader. Identification is driven by a desire for acceptance or a connection with someone perceived as desirable or influential. The highest level of influence is internalization. At this level, individuals incorporate the values, beliefs, and attitudes of another person or group into their own identity. Internalization goes beyond mere imitation, it involves a genuine transformation of one's thoughts and behaviors. For example, a person who was initially unconcerned with environmental issues might become a passionate advocate for sustainability after deeply internalizing the beliefs of an environmentalist group. Power dynamics within interpersonal relationships become evident when we examine the roles of the social agent and the person being influenced. The social agent is the individual who possesses power and is able to exercise control or exert influence, while the person being influenced is the one subject to the agent's power. These roles are not fixed. They can shift and change over time depending on the context and individuals involved. Understanding the different sources of power is crucial to comprehending power dynamics. French and Raven, 1959, identified five bases of power, informational, coercive, legitimate, expert, and referent. Each base of power has a unique influence on interpersonal relationships. Informational power is derived from possessing knowledge or information that others do not have. An individual who has access to important data or secrets can wield considerable influence simply by sharing or withholding information. Coercive power, on the other hand, relies on the use of threats or punishment to control others. This is often observed in hierarchical structures where individuals with higher authority impose their will on subordinates through fear of negative consequences. Legitimate power is rooted in the formal hierarchy or structure of an organization or society. A person in a position of authority, such as a boss or a government official, has legitimate power by virtue of their role. Expert power is derived from possessing specialized skills, knowledge, or expertise in a specific area. Individuals with expert power rely on their competence and credibility to influence others. Finally, referent power is based on admiration, respect, and a desire to be like someone. Referent power is often associated with celebrities, charismatic leaders, or individuals who possess qualities that others aspire to emulate. People with referent power have a strong ability to influence others simply by virtue of their personal qualities or popularity. Power and influence have a profound impact on interpersonal communication and relationships. When power is exercised in a positive and ethical manner, it can foster trust, collaboration, and effective communication. However, misuse or abuse of power can lead to negative consequences such as resentment, conflict, and deterioration of relationships. In balanced and healthy relationships, power is typically shared and distributed rather than concentrated in the hands of one individual. This allows both parties to have a sense of agency, autonomy, and the opportunity to influence decisions and outcomes. Healthy communication within these relationships involves active listening, empathy, and open dialogue. On the other hand, power imbalances can create significant challenges in interpersonal relationships. When one person has more power than the other, communication may become strained, and the less powerful individual may feel marginalized or unheard. This can lead to resentment, mistrust, and even abuse. Awareness of power dynamics and intentionally working towards equitable relationships can help mitigate these challenges. It is important to recognize and challenge power imbalances, foster open communication, and create environments where all individuals feel valued and empowered. In conclusion, power and influence are fundamental components of interpersonal relationships. By understanding the levels and sources of influence, as well as the roles of power and the impact they have on communication and relationships, individuals can navigate these dynamics more effectively.
By recognizing power imbalances and working towards equitable relationships, we can foster healthier and more fulfilling connections with others.